Coffee. You look yeah. fabulous today. Well, You're red. You. Look at that scully. I'd even wear some of my turquoise. Okay. And I got my, my great marine boots on. I kind of was feeling it today, too. Ooh, I kind of feel it Isn't today. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to work. All right, let's go. Uh, so, today, while in our workspace, um, I want to talk about You're My Man. Uh, this is, of course, Mom's third number one record, and You're My Man was written by Dad. It was. It was, and I realized, of course, look at this demonstration only, not for sale tag. You know what this means? This is the demo version from the original run in the 70s. This is coming from Dad's copies. Oh. Isn't that cool? That is you cool. You know, my dad had one copy at least of everything Mom or my grandmother ever did, even though... Years had passed and divorces and remarriages. My dad really held a, a copy of everything for me to have. And of course, there's songs of his in here. I can spot a cheater. I'm going to write a song. Uh, I'm sure Grammy's got one in here too. But, you know, third number one, she was starting to pluck them out, wasn't she? Wow, she was. And, you know, and what a great day. Because, yeah. you know, and this is around the time. That you know, she has the bass named after yes, her. So she has so first. much attention. <laughs> the song was so great and had such a big hit that when um, the Marines needed to come in with this, they really parried it off of her. And the bass was in what, Nam Pong? Yeah, Nam Pong. Nam Pong. Nam Pong exactly is what how you say it. So not only was Lynn Anderson the first to have kind of a big national military advertising campaign, right? That's a pretty good accomplishment for a little country girl singer, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, Nobody else has got one. Through a series of awkward events in the Vietnam War, you know, a yeah. little base in nowhere Thailand, Nam Pong, uh, because I've been, I now have been educated on how to say that. Um, and that tattoo along the back is <laughs> Carolyn, don't tell all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> if I could have a but, tattoo, it would be one of these guys. But these guys, nobody else, no other good-looking 1970s bombshell who sung like an angel has got her on the right base. No, she, they don't, I think. I think that's pretty unique that it's, you know, mom and mom and a, and a country song that coins a, a couple of years' worth of of guys that were serving our country, right? And so today being Memorial Day, I actually wanted to take a minute. Um, obviously, you guys know I have been uh, very emotional and I want to get very loud and proud for a second about the Rose Guard Marines. These guys served on the MCAS Rose Garden. Uh, they were 72 and 73, 18 months. Um, and during that time, I'm going to pull my phone up and cheat for a second because I'd like to say these guys' names aloud. They lost their lives there, and they deserve to be talked about. And so today, let us thank Thomas Duffy, uh, Sam Cordova, Donald Brewer, Leonard Robertson, um, John Peacock and William Price, Ralph Chipman, and Ronald Forrester. Uh, thank you guys a lot <laughs> and your families um, and Memorial Day, right? It's a uh, well, and it's good to say their names again. Yeah, their let's names say are them out there in the there world. And, and thank you, thank you. And you know, it was so sweet. Um, those guys never forgot your mom, and I think this is a sweet story how you still have this artifact. When she passed away, the guys uh, sent. Um, a heart shape of white roses with this banner on it to the funeral home and so I've kept it proudly um, and it was really we had always had the poster hanging on the wall as a, as a kid but when she died this was one of the first things that at her funeral the Marines took the time to, to introduce themselves to me 
and to say she's amazing you know and and they're amazing so thank you goodbye hasta la vista gracias for your service <laughs> happy memorial day to everyone <laughs>